Hi, I'm Dr. Irene Joy Guevara Cesante. I'm here again to give you some informational videos and ngayon ang i-discuss po natin is about braces. Madami po tayong mga questions na nareceive nung nagtanong po tayo sa Facebook page about braces. And aside from that, I personally add questions that uh, patients might ask before or prior to have braces or even yung mga ongoing na yung braces. Number one question, ano ba ang braces? So, it's an orthodontic treatment. It's a kind of treatment in dentistry that deals with treating the malocclusion of the teeth. So, ano ba yung malocclusion? It's the class 1, class 2, class 3. To better understand it or in, in, to put it in layman's term, it's like, pag sinabi natin class 1, it's, ito yung mga sungke uh, na hindi naman masyadong protruded yung mga ngipin. Uh, yung class 2 naman, you can see it na madalas sila yung mga upper teeth nila is nakalabas. Yung class 3, um, yun naman yung mga lower teeth nila yung nakalabas. But I don't want you to be, be confused on the different kinds of things. So, yun yung pinaka simplest to explain it. Question number 2, what are the different kinds of braces? So, there's so many kinds of braces na pwedeng gawin sa isang patient. Uh, let's start with the most traditional one, which is the metal braces. So, what is metal braces? Ito yung normal na ginagamit natin ngayon, yung metal na ginagamit na pang braces, which is the traditional one. The next is the ceramic braces. So, yung ceramic braces naman, uh, the material that, that is used on the brackets is the ceramic. It's less noticeable. Um, so, mas ginagamit siya dun ng mga patient na ayaw nila ng masyadong nakikita yung braces nila. Another one is sapphire. Yung sapphire naman, it's much more clearer than ceramic. Yung ceramic is some, somehow parang white siya. Uh, you can see it in the picture. It's somehow white. Yung sapphire naman, it's clear. Much clearer siya. So, when it comes to being noticeable aesthetically, uh, mas hindi siya nakikita. Marami kasing mga patient na gusto nilang itreat yung mga occlusion nila, but they don't want it to be noticeable. Hindi kasi lahat gusto nung nakikita yung metal. But here in the Philippines, it's an it thing to have this metal braces. Another one is lingual braces. Um, we don't usually do it here in the Philippines, but on the other country, like say South Korea, they fond of doing lingual braces. Lingual braces is the same as the traditional metal braces, but the difference is it is placed at the back of your teeth, so sa loob po siya nakalagay. Ngayon, yung lingual braces na yon, ina-adjust siya the same as kung paano rin ina-adjust yung ginagamit na traditional, but it's much more uh, complicated kasi nasa likod siya, so expect na mas masakit siya, mas, mas tatama siya sa tongue mo, and bakit siya ginagamit? Ginagamit siya pag doon sa mga patient na ayaw talaga nila na nakikita sa harap yung braces nila. Another one is the self-ligating. Yung self-ligating is much more less friction than the traditional one. Uh, hindi siya nilalagyan ng any rubbers. Uh, yung wire is attached doon sa, sa bracket. And yung bracket na yon yun mismo yung mag adjust doon sa braces. The self-ligating braces is what we usually recommend dun sa mga patient natin na OFWs, yung mga seaman, yung mga patient na hindi sila makakakomply on a uh, every month basis ng pag-adjust. Kasi this, uh, this self-ligating braces, they allow you to go to the clinic on less time, meaning kahit ilang, week, uh, ilang weeks or ilang months ka makabalik, it's okay kasi then again, it's less friction. Uh, another question is, when is the best or the right time to have braces? For us orthodontists, or for us dentists, ang um, parameters na na namin if the patient would be allowed to have braces, metal or ceramic, is if all the permanent teeth is present. Or if ever, on age, age range, it, it range from 10 to 14 years old. Paano po yung mga patient below that? Paano po kung meron na silang mga sungke? Paano po kung nakikita na ng parents na magkakaroon ng sungke yung bata? So, we have different treatment on that. It's what we call preventive orthodontics. Ginagawa po ito sa mga bata. It's 
sometimes it's what we call space maintainer. Uh, yung mga ganong klase ng appliance na inalalagay sa pasyente para to gain space, to maintain the space. Um, they anticipate, they anticipate kung ano yung pwedeng mangyari sa pasyente or dun sa bata pagka lumaki siya. I, I suggest na dapat yung mga bata or yung mga anak natin is napapacheck natin sila regularly sa clinic or sa dentist para nakikita or monitor ng dentist kung magkakaroon siya ng ganun. So, yung mga ganong cases po, usually dapat monitor yon ng attending dentist ng pasyente. Yun yung tinatawag natin ng orthodontic treatment. But to answer the question, the best age to have dental braces is during the time when all the permanent treat is present. And in that age range is usually 10 to 14 years old. Next question is, Ano ang mga requirements kapag magpapabraces na? If you really want to do braces, hindi lahat ng pasyente uh, ay pwede magbraces. But there's no contraindication ng braces. Pero may mga conditions na dapat i-check prior to that. So, number one requirement is x-ray. Panoramic cephalometric x-ray is required. Sometimes, kapag ka meron ka talagang hindi nag e ng ipin, CBCT is required. It's a CT scan for your mouth para makita natin kung nasan yung position ng teeth. And another is intraoral and extraoral pictures. Another one is cast, yung sukat, sinusukatan po natin yung pasyente. And aside from that, yung proper diagnosis and treatment planning ng pasyente is required. So, ano po ba yung mga tinitignan natin once natatanggap tayo ng pasyente? Number one, lalo sa mga age range na medyo matanda na, uh, yung bone support is number one that we are looking. Tinitignan namin kung mababa masyado, kung kakayanin pa, kung may pre-existing condition yung pasyente na may gum problem, kailangan i-eliminate muna natin yun. So, yun yung mga chine-check natin. But most likely, wala naman pong contraindicated sa braces. Gaano katagal magpa-brace? it varies. Depende po sa dentist na gagawa. Usually, it is uh, 40 to 1 hour. Depende rin kung for example, um, prior to that, may gagawin pa sa inyo, bubunutan pa kayo, or papastahan kayo. Pwede pang mas matagal doon. Next question is, masakit ba ang pagpapabrace? I can say, on my personal opinion, na masakit siya not during the treatment. Masakit siya nung time na parang after two days na nagpabrace ako. But then again, I'm speaking on my behalf. Different patients have different um, adjustment to pain or pain tolerance. Sometimes, may mga patient kami na hindi naman talaga nasaktan. May mga patient naman kami na parang kakalagay lang, hindi na sila makakain. And what causes the pain? Uh, what causes the pain is braces kasi, uh, to give you a brief background, what what the teeth is doing is, yung one side ng teeth is parang breaking down the bone and the other side is building another para mapunta siya doon sa side na pupunta siya. On my case, I cannot say it's pain. It's actually discomfort. Discomfort kasi hindi naman siya yung pain na we have different kinds of pain. Hindi naman siya yung pain na masakit sa ulo. For, di, again, this is for my experience. If masakit, you can always take pain reliever. Uh, just make sure na you take pain reliever. Yung talagang masakit yung nipin nyo. Hindi yung dahil napapraning ka lang na baka sumakit siya. And you, you need to stop it once na hindi na siya masakit. Hindi naman kasi siya sasakit for the entire period of time. Sometimes it's just two days. Yun yung time na nag adjust yung bone, yung gums, and everything dun sa braces. Next question. Ano yung gagawin after magpa-brace? So, here at GCDC, we give you orthodontic kit. It comes with brushes. It comes with orthodontic floss. It comes with uh, wax. Lahat ito, i-explain ng dentist sa inyo paano ginagamit at paano gagamitin once na matapos yung braces nyo, kung ano yung mga discomfort na mararamdaman nyo, it would help you pag nasa bahay ka na. And this orthodontic kit, you will use this for the entire time na naka-braces ka. Ito na yung madalas mong gagamitin kasi you cannot use ordinary floss. So, yun yung mga nandoon sa orthodontic kit na yun. We have the sample pictures here. 
na pwedeng mapakita sa inyo. So, this next question, ito naman yung mga nag-gather namin sa Facebook page, sa mga patient na nagtatanong, most frequently asked questions about braces. And I think it's important na malaman nyo siya kasi for sure may iba tayong mga pasyente or hindi, kahit hindi pa pasyente yung planning na magka-braces na mga ito rin yung questions nila. So, para ngayon, masagot na namin siya. Nangangalawang ba ang braces? I would like to start with ano ba kasi yung material na ginagamit sa braces? Sa metal braces, for example. Uh, sa metal braces, ang ginagamit po dyan is stainless steel. Okay? Stainless steel, nickel, copper, titanium, all of these metals, hindi po siya nagkukos ng pangangalawang. Okay? Let's be clear on that. Wala pong nangangalawang na braces. And if meron man po, baka hindi po totoong braces yan. But for those po na sa dentist talaga nagpagawa, hindi po sa mga DIY, wala pong nangangalawang na braces. Yung mga nakikita nyo po na nandodoon sa gitna na may parang line, it's what we call um, midline mark for us dentist to know na yung arch wire na ginagamit nyo or natin na ilalagay sa inyo is nasa gitna. Next question from Miss Daraline Agura. May risk po ba kapag hindi nakapagpa-adjust for 3 months? When you have metal braces, you are required, it's mandatory, that you go to the clinic every month to have the adjustment. Uh, let's talk about COVID. For example po, hindi talaga kayo makakalabas due to transportation issues. Hindi po kayo makakalabas kasi kayo po ay kasama doon sa mga group of people na hindi pinapalabas ng government. Hindi po kayo makakalabas for some reasons dahil medyo weak yung immune system nyo. And you have braces. I will tell you na yes, there's a risk na hindi kayo makapagpa-adjust. But your life is much important than this. Braces, pwede po natin siyang ayusin ulit. Pwede natin siyang um, every, any discomfort na nararamdaman nyo, anything na nararamdaman nyo na would might give you the anxiety na baka mamaya may something wrong na nangyayari sa inyo, you can always talk to your dentist, even not personal. You can talk to them online, you can talk to them via phone. GC Dental Center is having this online consultation where we can call you and we can talk to you anytime, any time of the day to advise you on things na dapat niyong gawin during this time. Kay Miss Francesca Hernandez, ano po ang effect ng hindi regular na nagpapa-adjust? Yung 3 months kang hindi nakapagpa-adjust dahil may COVID at once mo lang siyang ginawa versus doon sa pasyente na hindi talaga pumupunta at hindi talaga nagpapa-adjust. There's a big difference on that. Yung hindi lang po kayo nakapunta for quite some time, like 2 months, tapos bumalik na kayo, tapos continuous na ulit yung adjustment nyo, we can always correct it. Pero po, dun sa mga pasyente na ang gagawin ay pupunta sa clinic, magpapa-adjust, susunod hindi na magpapa-adjust for the longest time. Yun po yung merong high risk na may mangyari sa ngipin niya. Kay Miss Daraline Ag Agura. Ano po yung pinakamagandang colors ng rubber na must try? Uh, ang madalas na pinagagamit ngayon or ang bestseller na color ngayon is black. Para daw po pag nag-lockdown, hindi daw po pangitignan at hindi mag-fade yung color. So, personally ako, I love black but it always depends on your taste. From Miss Chiki Reyes, Bakit po umuusog yung wire kahit kakapa-adjust pa lang? So, marami pong mga reason kung bakit siya nangyayari. Sometimes po, may nakakain tayo na matigas that would cause na pag-usog ng wire. Sometimes sa pag-chew. Sometimes naman, uh, madalas po sa pagkagat eh, sa mga nakakain natin, kaya umuusog siya. So, don't worry kung umusog man po yun, pwede po natin siyang dalin sa clinic at ibalik at ayusin, hinihila lang naman siya. From Miss Jessa Bayo, gagalaw po ba kahit nakalak ang braces? To answer your question, Miss Jessa, hindi po gagalaw ang braces once na nilak na natin siya. Kung ano po yung iniwan natin doon, nung time na before ka, before ka umalis ng clinic, nung nilak siya, yun po yun hanggang pagbalik nyo. Huwag lang pong matatanggalan ng bracket or ng wire, yun pa rin po yung mangyayari. So another question here is, may penalty po ba pag hindi kami nakakapunta? Here at GC Dental Center, I cannot speak for other clinic. Lahat po ng mga patient na hindi nakapagpa-adjust mula January 
kung kailan po nag-start yung COVID sa buong mundo. Until now, we will not be collecting any penalties, fees for that. Alam po namin yung sitwasyon at we are not blind na para pilitin po kayo na pumunta sa clinic if it's not safe for you. Next question po, bakit po walang cleaning kapag nagpapa-adjust ngayon sa clinic? Meron pong article sa Philippine Star, ito po yun, na nilalabas yung PDA at sinabi po nila na we are not allowed to do any aerosol generating procedures. So, to protect you as a patient and also our staff, we discontinue any rotary instrument that produce aerosol. Hindi rin po kami muna gumagamit ng high speed para makapagpasta. So, nagkiklining pa rin po kami. Pero manually. Yung mga emergency cases po, ginagawa namin um, using our technique. Our technique po is um, technique used na hindi po kami gagamit ng high speed. Pero, matitreat pa rin namin po yung cases nyo. Next question po, is braces contraindicated for breastfeeding mothers? Ang sabi ko kanina, yung braces wala pong contraindication. So, bata, yung matanda, um, pero syempre yung bone support po na matanda, hindi po pwedeng mababa. Uh, sa breastfeeding, ganun din, hindi naman po siya bawal. But, may disclaimer po, you need to talk to your ob ni or your doctor para mas masigurado nyo po kung pwede kayo mag-braces. And that concludes our Q&A about braces. Again, please like our page and like our YouTube channel so you can be informed sa lahat po ng mga ipopost namin na videos na informative that would help you. And we, your GC Dental Center family, will always be your family. One step in making the best marriage in your account.